This video is sponsored by Autodoc. Has your car broken down? Are you looking for spare parts? Where is the best place to buy them? Shop at Autodoc. Any car parts you may need are available whenever convenient for you and are just a few clicks away in any European country. Go to autodoc.co.uk and order your parts today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. It is Tuesday morning and we are in Bath right now. It's also 5.48. Now I've literally just done a live stream on YouTube. Um, <coughs> it's potentially the last video I actually uploaded, so um, if you watch that live stream you'll know where I am, I'm in Bath. Um, Obviously can't say where I'm delivering to, but I might have accidentally got it in the live stream. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're delivering bags here. We um, It's one of those places that start tipping you, hopefully, by 6 o'clock. So I'm just waiting for the guys to turn up. But um, to, to be first in, you need to first arrive and arrive first. So I had to be here for half past five. And it takes about an hour to get here. So I have to leave the yard for half past four this morning. So it was an early start. I was in the yard for four o'clock. Oh, I know, I didn't know you. Uh, once you start yawning, it's hard to stop, isn't it? So yeah, um, is that my speakers making that noise? Yeah. So yeah, we're in Bath. We've got a tip here. Once you tipped here, we've then got to go to uh, the Bristol branch. And then from Bristol, we got to do three drops. I think I can do them in any order I want, but I'm going to do them Radstock first. Then I'm going to go to Winterbourne and then a Yate. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or I might swap the Yate and Winterbourne around. I'm not quite sure yet. I need to work out exactly which one's best to get back to Swindon from. Uh, Days of Bristol. So yeah, that's the plan today. So we should, hopefully, we'll be doing four drops. Obviously, things change all the time. If we get held up anywhere, then it's going to mess up the rest of the day. But... <sighs> tired. I tired. I had a terrible night's sleep last night. I've been... I might need to go see a doctor, to be honest with you, because I've been suffering recently with um, night terrors. You will arrive at your destination. I haven't really looked into it and I, I assume it's called a night terror I could be wrong but basically I wake up in the middle of the night almost screaming panicking so <laughs> not good and last night about midnight I woke up screaming no jumped out of bed and ran to the landing I have no idea why so I was quite shaken up never mind I need to do some research on that I think and see what's see what's the matter see if it's something I'm doing might be stress related I'm not I wouldn't say I'm stressed but I might need to go see a doctor anyway anyway that's enough of the depressing stuff let's uh, crack on with the day hopefully we can get a tip next time you see me it should be a little bit lighter out um, it's pretty dark out isn't it so I'll see you in a bit and we're off and I'm still yawning <sighs> I'm so sorry I <laughs> How many of you have yawned, seeing me yawn? Uh, it's uh, 6.55 now, 5 to 7 in the morning. Uh, we were there slightly longer than what I was anticipating. I was hoping to be out before 7. Uh, I mean, I, I am in a way, but no, I was hoping to be out a lot earlier. It's basically 7 o'clock. I was hoping... You're in the wrong lane, mate. I swear that lane is left only. Um, yeah, I was hoping to like half six, twenty to seven. What well, I was hoping to be uh, be gone by, but obviously not. <laughs> I need to wake up, <laughs> pop to the shop and get a drink. But um, yeah, anyway, let's head. Let's head. Uh, to Bristol 
get loaded with our first load. Like I said, I think I'm going to do a rad stock first, get the longest one done out of the way, and then um, do the two relatively local runs after that. And then I'm assuming back to the yard. If not, then it'll be back to preload from Cerny. But that would make it a really long day if I've got to do that, so I'm hoping it's back to the yard. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so it's now half past eight in the morning. We are loaded to go to our first run of the day. Uh, we're going to Yate first. And then I haven't quite made up my mind which one I'm going to do next after that, Winterbourne or Radstock. Problem is, I've done a Winterbourne before. Got there early and they've refused to tip me until after nine o'clock. So, I didn't want to go to Winterbourne first. Just in case that's the case again, um, I mean, I will get there after nine o'clock, but there could be a, already a truck there waiting to get in that has been waiting. So I thought, I'm, I'm not doing Winterbourne first. So I've never done a Yate in the morning. So we're going to go Yate now. So, like I said, we're going to be there for about nine o'clock. It's only half an hour away. Um, and fingers crossed we can get straight in. Fingers crossed. Now, the, the last place I've just been to in Bath, there was a pallet on, on the trailer that they didn't want, so I've had to bring it back here. But these guys don't want it. So, on my final run, which I, I'm guessing there'd be probably Radstock, um, I need to take that pallet back to Radstock, and then from Radstock, take it all the way back to South Cerny and get it taken back off again. So, it's a bit frustrating, but never mind. There's two lanes, mate, you can go around me. In your Porsche. Let's flash him out. I do need to get back in there, let me in. Let me in! An indicator to let him know. I expect he wants to get in this lane anyway, probably, to go to the Mel, the Mel, is it the Mel? Something like that. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're off to Yates, so let's get a crack a in. See you in a bit. Uh, oh no, yeah, I've had a haircut in case you guys haven't noticed. Had a little bit of a haircut. <laughs> right, um, yeah, let's crack on to Yates. Right, so we are back at Bristol again, getting loaded. So um, we just run through what we've done today. So we started work at around about four o'clock this morning. Uh, well, about quarter past four, we're in the yard. Uh, we left the yard about half past four, we were in Bath for about half past five. Um, got let in about six o'clock, got let back out about seven o'clock. Was back in Bristol and then we went straight to Yate. We got to Yate for about nine o'clock this morning and then we were there until eleven o'clock this morning. Um, so we were delayed quite a bit in Yate. Since then we've come straight back to Bristol again where I'm getting loaded. Uh, and now we're going to go straight back to, well, we're going to go to Radstock next. So from here, it's a good, the last time it took an hour and a half to get there. So I'm a, I've, I've done the assumption that it's going to take an hour and a half to get there again, plus an hour to tip, plus an hour and a half to get back. Um, that's four hours. And uh, yeah, it's basically, it will be uh, on four o'clock by the time I get back here again which means I won't have time to do the other run that I had planned, which is the Winterbourne run, because most branches don't even take a delivery after four o'clock, and I'm not even going to be loaded until about four o'clock. So, I've had to take the, uh, uh, what, how to word it, um, the initiative, yes. I've had to take the initiative. I phoned the company that we deliver the bags for, basically told them I can do one or the other, not both. Um, and I said I'd rather do Radstock, so they said, yeah, do Radstock. So that's what I'm doing. From Radstock, we then need to go straight back to South Cerny uh, and then get loaded up for tomorrow morning. I don't actually know where I'm going yet, but um, you, can't unlo you can't unload after four o'clock. No one will unload you after four, but you can get loaded. I've, I've been getting loaded at seven o'clock at night before, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't mean it's home early or anything like that. I've still got to get reloaded for tomorrow yet. So, we're going to get loaded now, and then we're going to head to Ratstock, get unloaded, go to South Surrey, get reloaded, go back to the yard, and then go home. Fingers crossed, we'll be done by five, hopefully. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see on that one. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's crack on. See you in a bit. Right, we are loaded and we are off for our third and final run of today. It's quarter to twelve. So um, we are uh, we got loaded relatively fast, but also um, I did tell the company I deliver for that it would be about quarter to twelve by the time I leave. So I was actually spot on. Right, just gotta wait for these two vehicles to go. Still clear. Clear, 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 clear. I want to stop at the um, the garage because I've had nothing to eat or drink all day today. I say I say all day today. It's not even twelve o'clock yet, but I have started at like I said at four o'clock this morning. Have I mentioned that I started at four o'clock this morning? <laughs> so I mean, I've been at work for six hours now. Um, and I'm going to have at least another four or five more hours at work. Easy. And I've had nothing to eat or drink. I've had a chance to stop, but I just haven't stopped yet. So I will be stopping at the garage just up here. Hopefully there's no other trucks in there because we park on the, uh, on the fuel pump. Quickly run in, get some drink and come back and drive off again. Although driving out can be a pain. see getting out of here can be a pain as well come on mr caravan probably should have went you know shed load of cars now shed load of cars all that bus is coming around ideal opportunity to come off yeah so we're just going to pull into these uh this garage up here grab a sandwich grab a drink and crack on with the day we should be at radford just after one o'clock um yeah quarter past one it's saying by the time i come out of here as well be about quarter past one say i'm there for an hour it's quarter past two and uh, it's an hour and a half drive back here. It's an hour and a half drive back to Cerny as well. So I don't think I'm going to be at Cerny until about four o'clock at the earliest. But we will see. It's designed for HGVs to go around here, but it is a little bit tight. The trailer will be very close to that cone. And because I'm not actually getting any fuel, I'm just going to park around here a little bit. Just so another truck can actually get on the fuel pump. And also make him think he needs to move. So yeah, we're going to stop here. Given room for the truck behind, so that's good. Let's go get some drink. Right. We grab some food. Some drink. We've got a uh, lorry behind. <laughs> I say lorry, it's a bin, a bin lorry. It's like beeping its own while I was in the shop. Don't know why. It obviously wants to get round that. I, I left plenty of room for, for a vehicle to get fuel if it wanted fuel. But uh, he decided he, he just wanted to come round and consequently get stuck behind me. Don't bother me. I want to get out, but these cars are not letting me get out. Come on! Just need that fucking <laughs> budge over. <laughs> no one's budging over. Come on, budge over. Here we go after this one. We'll be there forever, otherwise. So, they've got plenty of time to get over. They can see that a lorry's trying to get out, but uh, they don't want to get out. That bin lorry, the only thing I could think of is that he wanted to get a bin which was round the corner from where I was. But like, if I was getting fuel, 
you would have to wait anyway, so a bit naughty of him just to keep beeping his horn. He was keep, he just kept beeping his horn. He wouldn't have been able to get past me even if I was parked on the <laughs> fuel pumps. And I thought if I parked after the fuel pumps, at least if someone needed to get fuel, they could. I was trying to be good, you know, trying to be considerate. But uh, you just can't win. Yeah, we got ourselves a bottle of Coke, Coca-Cola. By the way, some people have said that I've lost weight. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not really trying to lose weight, so say. Um, I think I have lost weight, but um, I wouldn't say I'm constantly trying to lose weight, do you know what I mean? I'd say I'm drinking a lot less Coca-Cola than what I used to drink, definitely. And uh, I don't really eat much now either, at work anyway. I used to like buy loads of food from the shop. I've just been and bought myself a, a BLT sandwich and uh, a cheese and onion slice. That's it, that's all I've got. It's not exactly the healthiest stuff, but I used to eat a hell of a lot more. Chocolates and all sorts. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that, um, that skip lorry's really wound me up though, to be fair. Beeping his horn like that. Bloody lunatic. Anyway, let's crack on to Radstock. That's where we're going. Forgot then. And I'll see you guys when we leave, I think. When we leave. So, see you in a bit. Right, so we have now been to our destination at Radstock. We, uh, we've tipped and uh, now we're on our way back to South Cerny. That's the plan. Well, that is actually what's happening. So, it's a terrible rattle up there. Do you hear it? <laughs> That's the uh, the engine. It's revving at like obviously a certain frequency, and it's making something rattle over there. As soon as I accelerate a little bit, it stops. Green light. So, um, yeah, we're going to crack on to South Cerny. We're going to be at South Cerny for four o'clock. Uh, if we went straight back to Bristol, we would be at Bristol for about half past three, um, which is what I said. So I don't want to sort of like act all big-headed and all that, but I was right. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty accurate with my timings and yeah, basically they want me to go back and do another run and I was, I was like, it ain't gonna happen. Just, it is not physically going to happen. And just recently it's been happening quite a lot where I can't get all the runs done. So, I'm hoping I'm not gonna start getting a reputation, a reputation for uh, not doing all the runs. <laughs> but I've done three today anyway, done three, and I'm heading back now to get reloaded for the morning which is perfectly average, what is normal, is what, what we normally do, so it's not like I've not pulled my weight, I've done enough runs. Just got no idea where I'm going tomorrow, they said they're going to send me somewhere down this way, so it could be Radstock again, it could be Chippenham, it could be Bath again, so who knows, we we'll just have to play that one by ear. They might even send me Glastonbury or something like that, uh, or Evercreech. So we'll have to uh, wait and see on that one. Have to wait and see. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, Truckfest now, because it's getting really close. Hopefully this video comes out before Truckfest, but there is a slight chance it won't. But fingers crossed it will. It, it should come out before Truckfest. But um, yeah, I've got some really uh, exciting stuff that I want to do. So for those of you who can't come to Truckfest and meet me, Kev T and Trucker J in the UK, I plan on doing some sort of live stream at the Vlogger Village, where we are, all three of us together. Even if they're not actually talking much into my camera, but um, uh, it's something I plan on doing. I need to, I've got a selfie stick somewhere, I need to try and find it so I can put the arm out so they can see us properly. And then I plan on like, just attaching it somewhere so you can uh, basically watch people interact with us as well, potentially, who knows. It's got to be careful, obviously, it's my phone, I don't want to just leave it around. But. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? That'd be awesome. So that's the plan. As well as taking on plenty of Go GoPros and trying to get as much footage of other stuff I can as well in slightly higher quality. I can imagine between the three of us we're going to have quite a lot of camera equipment there. Definitely. Definitely! Oh! I've got a phone call. Anyway, catch you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, hello. Okay, so you join me around about an hour and a half later. I can't remember what time it was when uh, I last spoke to you. What I do remember is uh, we were rudely interrupted by a phone call. That phone call uh, was from South Cerny, where we're going to now. 
Um, before I left um, the place we delivered to at Radstock, I, I sent South Cerny a text saying, leaving now, we'll be there before four o'clock. Because I've got to take this pallet back. I was told to take this pallet back. Anyway, that phone call that I got, which you guys heard um, ring, was from South Cerny saying, what do you mean you're on your way back? I was like, well, have, uh, have Southampton not contacted you? Uh, I've got to bring this pallet back, get preloaded, and you want to load me up with something to take me back towards Bristol? And they said, no, we, haven't, we don't know anything about it. So there's been a, a miscommunication somewhere. Um, because we're based in Quicklade, which is just around the corner from South Cerny anyway, um, I'm still going to drop the pallet off. But uh, by the sounds of it, I'm not actually getting loaded anymore. They decided that they wanted to be on my side of the road coming around the corner. So, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know why he was so far on my side of the road. I really don't. That van is not sticking out at all. So, um, yeah, we've, uh, we've got to come around Southampton now, get, take this pallet off. And as far as I'm aware, we're not getting loaded with anything at all. So, um, it, it doesn't bother me necessarily because after the pallet's off, I'm going back to the yard anyway, but it probably does bother my boss that I've come, come back for no reason. So, but it doesn't matter. It's fine, it's all good. Good in the hood. Gotta go slow around here, it's a bit tight. Hence the road sign saying the road narrows. And other Arctics do come through the other way, so we will just need to concentrate coming around here a sec. Here. Just this one last bend. If there's an Arctic round here, we will struggle to get past each other. All good. So yeah, you've probably seen this bit on my vlogs quite a lot. If you haven't seen this bit quite a lot, you'll definitely see the next bit. This is the Spine Road. Um, very, very, very popular with cyclists and joggers and anybody really who just wants to keep fit. So not me. <laughs> There's a place down here um, called Cotswold Outdoors, I think it's called Cotswold Outdoors. We went in there for the first time just to have a look and they pretty much just sell running equipment and like clothing, outdoor clothing, coats and stuff. But uh, yeah, all this down here is part of the Cotswolds and I live just around the corner within Cotswold Water Park boundaries. It's quite nice, quite a nice area to be fair. So yeah. We're going to uh, take this one pallet off. No, of my luck, I'll get there and I'm going to be behind two or three trucks. And uh, I'm going to have to wait to be let in just for one pallet. I'm hoping I can get straight in, get the pallet off, get straight out and get back to the yard for about four past four. Yeah, fingers crossed. And then with a bit of luck, I can be owned by our past four. If not, probably looking at five o'clock. We'll have to see on that one. And I was supposed to receive a phone call telling me what I'm doing tomorrow, and again, I haven't. So I'm gonna have to make a phone call and just find out in a bit. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. It is now gonna be the end of the vlog. Don't know how long it is, do apologize. And uh, fingers crossed, this will be out by the weekend and a few more vlogs will be out just after the weekend all regarding truck fest as well as some live streams as well that's what i'm hoping so yeah um thank you very much for watching this video i do appreciate it if you haven't liked and subscribed please go ahead and also don't forget check out my second channel it's just called luke c link is also in the description down below and if you're into gaming and you want to see the game go subscribe to that channel because once there's a thousand subs that's where I will be. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you very much. Speak soon. Bye bye. This video is sponsored by Autodoc. Has your car broken down? Are you looking for spare parts? Where is the best place to buy them? Shop at Autodoc. Any car parts you may need are available whenever convenient for you and are just a few clicks away in any European country. Go to autodoc.co.uk and order your parts today.